To factor with the mistake method, the first thing you're going to want to do is draw yourself a pair of parentheses. Then you're just going to bring down your first term without its exponent and put it in the first position here and here. Then you're going to bring the first sign down and put it also in the first set of parentheses. Now we made a mistake on purpose, so we have to remember to put our 2 in our garbage can so we divide it out later. Now we're going to multiply to get our second sign. A positive times a negative is a negative. Now we're just looking for two numbers here and here. The product of those two numbers is 3 times 2. So the product is 6. Now you look at your two signs. One's positive, one's negative. They're different. So the difference of our two numbers is going to be 5. If these two signs were the same, the sum would be 5. Now notice we didn't worry about the signs. Negative 3 times 2, positive 3 times 2. That's because we already took care of our signs here and here. That's what makes it a little bit easier. OK, so what two numbers multiply to give us 6 and subtract to give us 5? 6 and 1. Now we just have to remember to dump our garbage can because we made a mistake on purpose to figure out these two numbers. We can't take 2 out of this side because 2 won't go evenly into 1. But we can take 2 out of here. And we're left with our final answer, which is x plus 3 times 2x minus 1. This problem down here is a little bit different, but they all work the same way. The first thing we're going to do is draw a set of parentheses. and bring down our first term without the exponent. And bring down our first sign. And put our 6 in our garbage can. We made that mistake to figure out the next two numbers. You'll notice that 6x times 6x is 36x squared. So we have to divide out that 6 later. Now let's go ahead and figure out our second sign. Again, we do that with multiplication. A positive times a positive is going to give us a positive. Now we're looking for two numbers. Their product is 2 times 6, which is 12. These two signs are the same, so their sum is 7. And remember, these numbers are always positive. We've already taken care of our signs. We don't have to worry about positives and negatives. Okay, so what two numbers multiply to give us 12 and sum or add up to give us 7? That would be 4 and 3. We're going to put our biggest number always on the left-hand side. Now we just have to dump out this 6. You'll notice that the 6 doesn't go into 4, and the 6 doesn't go into 3. But we can take 2 from the first and 3 from the second. And what you get is 2 times 3 is 6, so we have dumped out that 6. We're left with our final answer which is 3x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. That's it for the mistake method. Practice, 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 boys and girls.